We're learning more about what led up to the death of a massive sperm whale that washed up on the shores of Kauai. KITV4's Tom George joins us now. And what did the scientists find out, Tom? Well, this was a major job. It's not like another autopsy that a scientist might do because this whale was nearly 60 feet long. The researchers actually had to use heavy equipment you see right there to get the whale up onto the beach after it washed up on Friday on Kauai. From there, the researchers from UH spent about 15 hours looking through the whale's stomach for clues about what happened. Now, they didn't find any abnormalities with its organs, but what they did find was an alarming amount of trash. Six hagfish traps, seven kinds of fishing net, plastic bags, a light protector, some fishing line, and a float from a net, all of which took a toll. We don't know if it was ingested over time, or if it was ingested in one sort of fatal swoop, um, but we do think it's likely that it contributed to the death of the whale. Yeah, and researchers say this is exactly why it's so important to make sure you uh, properly dispose of your trash because the kind of fishing line that they found, some of it could have also come from land as well as the ocean. But they say getting to do this kind of research is actually pretty rare because the scientists can only study the whales that do end up washed up on shore. They estimate, though, for every one they are able to investigate, there could be 20 others out there that could have died from these same kinds of issues. Tom George, KTV4, Island News.